Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Veronica. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I still can't believe I'm doing this, guys. Like I'm starting a whole channel, but it's something that I wanted to do for the longest time. So yeah, thank you for those of ones who for those <laughs> thank you for those who clicked on my last video who watched it i know i just got like seven views but it means a lot to me two of those views were me um but five of those views were other people and shout out to those other people they know themselves shout out to the girl who even commented child um but yeah so let's get into it um today's video is the top 10 finance youtubers that i'm watching this year and i'll continue to watch as the years go by if they continue having content don't mind the noise guys like you're gonna hear a lot of that i can't control it and i've shot this video twice now so yeah uh, but let's get into it uh okay so these youtubers are not in any particular order so they're not in any particular order there's no number one or the last one you know is not my least favorite you know i just love them all and yeah guys you know do what people do on the youtube streets i don't know give this video a like subscribe comment share if you can i'd really appreciate it oh i still can't believe i'm doing this but yeah so let's get into it so number one on the list we have erin on demand erin on demand is american um so she's just a boss babe like everything about her the way her videos are co coordinated like and the money she makes like everything about her just is boss babe like here i come you know so she started like journalism in uh university i believe but now she's went on to have like a career as a full-time youtuber she even has a company now you know like her videos are just about how to make money side hustles how you can also uh do well on your youtube channel if you have a youtube channel it especially helps she has a lot of content on that so yeah guys just go check her out okay so yeah guys Go check her out and I'll leave everything in the description below. I'll make sure I'll link these people or I don't know, somehow. The second person we have on this list is Lavish Ruby. Like, Lavish Ruby, she's a babe. She's a boss babe. You know, on her channel, she has everything from her side hustles that can make you like legit proper money to how you can save all those finance videos. And she was having this... Uh, all these videos while she was a full-time student and she had videos on how to get like good GPA like good grades and she was studying like biomedicine or something like that and at the same time she was in the basketball team like I don't know how she did it all but she did it and she was making good money at the same time now she hasn't posted in a long time but I hope she comes back because we miss a lot of that content and yeah but she's active on Instagram so I think you guys can go for her there even though she doesn't really share much finance uh content on her instagram but i feel like if even if you go back to her old youtube videos they're still gonna be useful to whomever trust and believe that number three on this list we have zizi Moloko. she is one of our own um she is african south african to be specific um so she started off with finance how to save side hustles for a nine to five babe side hustles for um side hustles for students you know how to find jobs her whole struggle with unemployment and stuff like that and it's just so relatable i think people in africa south africa even will find her videos so relatable and yeah she's a boss babe and she's the in the investment banking industry as well which is what i want to go into so i think that's what kind of like uh drew her drew me to her or her to me i don't know <laughs> but yeah and number four, we have the break platform. I don't know if it's just the break or the break platform. Like, if you don't know about this, have you been living under a rock? Because, hello. Anyways, the host of this show is Miss Patricia Bright. And she has been around, but mostly she was in the beauty and influencing space. But she now created a channel for finances because she did study uh, accounting in university. But now she's like, you know what, I'm going to create a channel which is about investment, uh, investing and investments and property and all those things and stuff like that. Um, and it's, it's you know, it's information while well, she's uh, based in Britain, as most people know, um, in the UK. But like, you know, I feel like it's tips and tricks that you can still, you know, play around with. And, you know, make sure they apply to wherever you are and which part of the world that you're in. 
Number four, we have Steph Graham. So nine out of ten people on this list are actually females. He's the only guy. But I like his quirky and weird humor, so I had to add him to the list. Um, he mostly does reactions nowadays. It's not like he's going to have tips of ten ways to save money. Well, I think maybe he did in the past, but I'm not quite sure. I don't want to lie to you. Uh, but he does reactions on people making money, how they make their money, how they spend their money. And he gives just like valuable tips and gems in those videos, which I find just so interesting and cool. And he, as I said, he has this weird, quirky, funny humor that I just love. And yeah. The next person on this list is Nobuke Kumalo. She's also one of our own. So she's South African and she studied accounting. I think she's on a journey to becoming a CA or if she's not already one. I'm not quite sure. I'll get back to you on that. But she also has like a lot of videos like side hustles, how to, you know, from things like side hustles to how to buy your first car when you're straight out of varsity to how you can file for taxes or how to buy shares. Things like that, you know, things that are relevant. And she's young and, you know, she's really trying to help us and all the ways she can, you know. So it's not just accounting information that she shares. You know, most people think, oh, no, but she's an accountant. I don't think, how can we relate? But, I mean, I watch all her videos. She even throws in some vlogs here and there. So that's very interesting. So I enjoy that as well. The next person on this list, we have Duane Gomano. So, Duane Ngomano, um, she is South African as well, and she's also on her journey to becoming a CA, and she's young, and she shares things on, you know, she makes videos on whether you can afford your first car, how much a trainee salary is. Well, so that's mostly for people who are interested in becoming accountants, especially in South Africa. That information is quite relevant to that, but she still does so many videos. Recently, I saw a vlog um, she's moved to the UK, she got a job in the UK, and it's just so exciting to see her journey from what she came from to now, where she's going, and she's just growing, love to see it, you know, and these are true gems, and I hope now that she's in the UK, she can continue giving us this lovely information. The next person is Nkita N. Nkita N, oh my gosh, I wish I had discovered her sooner, like, I don't know why, you know, but anyways, she has more career um, related uh, content, not really finance as such, but for those people who want to become investment analysts, investment bankers like myself, um, you know, her channel will be kind of worth it. But now she is coming into the more lifestyle, just like Zizi Monoko, um, but I think she still has the content up there, but now she is becoming more of a lifestyle and whatnot, but I love it for them. Like, for example, Zizi, I know I'm, go I'm like digressing, but like she recently got made married. English is not helping me today, is it? But anyway, she recently got married and I just loved, loved the wedding, the vlogs, everything. So I live for that. But I still miss the finance content. Same for Inkita, all the career chats and whatnot. I really miss them and I really love them. Um, the next person on this list is Camille Colazzo. So she is American and she shares like finance tips from how you can save to... Um, things that you don't need to purchase anymore in your life, like, you know, things that you're wasting your money on, or saving hats and stuff like that. So she was in the military, but she just overall just shares her journey and stuff like that. And it's just so motivating. And, you know, her videos are quite refreshing and to watch and stuff. So I really enjoy that. Then last but not least, we have Elizabeth Lamide. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, but she is British and wow, wow, wow. I think... Her whole, you know, her channel is why I'm starting a channel. I just love her so much. So she's also in the banking industry, which is what I want to go into. Um, but yeah, her life is just, she's also just a boss babe. And she's so young. I think she's recently turned 25 or 24, which is still so young. And she's really doing the things. She's doing the things that need to be done, okay? And she's making businesses, creating so many streams of income. And she st shares all those things with us as well. So, that's the noise I get. <laughs> but yeah, she is just amazing and it's just so amazing to watch. So yeah, guys, I think that's my list, my top 10 list. So these are people that I've been watching for quite some time, a long time to be, you know, particular. But, you know, I've decided to share them with you today. 
and I'm going to throw in an extra bonus uh, channel up there and it's called TFD. TFD, if you don't know this channel guys, you've been living under a rock. So this is a channel hosted by Chelsea. I'm not quite sure if you're saying but I think her name is Chelsea. Um, they share everything finance related. It's actually called TFT, the finance diet. So when you're going there, it is finance content. Literally, that's what they're feeding you, you know, finance diet. Get it? I love the name. Um, but yeah, guys, I think, you know, if you want to level up financially, you should really start consuming content, guys, likewise. And, you know, of course, you know, YouTube is filled with so many things. There's entertainment. There's like so many things that you can watch. But also when you have time, it's good to listen to these ladies and guy. <laughs> um, and just um, take in the information that they're sharing. Especially since that they've kind of walked through this. And I'm not saying that it's going to exactly apply. But you could use their tips and tricks and like tweak them. And, you know, make sure they work um for you you know because i mean at the end of the day we are all different and yeah i mean you know i don't 100 percent listen to these people maybe that's why i haven't made it yet but then again i am trying to apply their methods and ways to my life and stuff like that so yeah if somebody says oh no you should save 70 percent of your salary and you know like that for you is impossible because maybe you need to help out at home take care of your family i don't know maybe you're saving for something big like you, you can't just save that much you know but if you know oh i could save 30 percent and one of these youtubers says you know i feel like that works for me and you think yourself it works for you then why not you know you do that and at the end of the day i mean it's your content and you're doing what you love so yeah guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for clicking on this video i really appreciate it i'm gonna keep on trying to make sure i get videos out every week don't forget to like this video to subscribe share it with your mom and your auntie and you know all the people comment down below and if you reach the end of this video you can just comment banana i like doing this thing i just want to see who has reached the end of this video and i appreciate it so much see you on the next video you guys bye